guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Landon and we are here again today for <laughs> sad mode. <laughs> okay, so I hope that you guys really enjoyed the dope music video and the dope live and the dope dance practice, but not real dope. Make sure. Um, today we're gonna take a little step backwards. We're gonna be walking back, taking a few steps back. Cause we watched the I Need You music video, but there are two lives and a dance practice that I need to say. <laughs> <laughs> that mother effing TikTok, I can't stop. My favorites, go follow them. Anyway, um, today we will be watching the performances of I Need You at the show live, which was our first win, as well as the picnic live. That's how I abbreviated it in the roadmap. We go see official names when we click the links, but also we're gonna go over the dance practice as well. So excited to see this. And um, I'm excited for y'all to join along. Listen, maybe I'll bring it up in this video. Now, as far as the storyline goes, I appreciate all of y'all's help and everything like that. I will say that through the help and everything, things got a little spoiled for me. I'll talk about that more in the storyline video we do next, but I understand y'all are excited and everything. But please just remember, anything that could be drawn from future videos is a spoiler. <laughs> but I still love y'all support. Anyway, so thank you. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and watch the I Need You, the first show, first win. No, the show live first win. I don't know if it's gonna have like the actual winning or not, so. <laughs> I hope we gotta lift it up over here. I'm loving this set, by the way. Everything like all white with the flowers and everything. It just looks like a little young man and you know, we're ready for life. And I'm guessing, you know, this has nothing to do with the storyline either. We're just gonna go with it. All right, so just be real. I'm not a fan of this live. <laughs> I think it may be my computer, but the volume is pretty low. And the camera angles are pretty crazy and the fans are screaming more than the people are, are singing sometimes. Um, I do want to witness this though. This is the historic one, SBS win and to what's not. And the fact that it was on my birthday, May 5th, 2015. So I definitely want to see this, but do y'all feel that too? Or am I tripping? Like this camera angles are just not. This is why we watch the dance practice. And this is why we watch the dance practice. I need to Okay, so this is what we do, right? Okay, so y'all are helping me. We're training for the contract right now. Now there's each part of a song that has like where the fan chan fits in, but I noticed that they always sing all the English words too. So they'll be like, Jungkook, BTS, round and round, down and down. You know what I mean? Is that what I'm gonna be doing? Is that what I need to be focusing on looking like to blend in? Thanks. <laughs> Man, I love that shirt. Don't be sad. Gonna walk away. Okay, so that was the first performance at SBS, the time when they won their video. Like I said, I liked it. I just wish the camera angle, this is my first time experiencing the choreography. So it was just hard for me to take all the choreo in. You know what I'm saying? I definitely got the emotion from it. I got the aesthetic from it. I saw their faces being very sad. And I got to witness that fan chant and make some questions. Okay, so can you answer those questions? One more question about the fan chant. Did they make it up, BTS, or did ARMA make it up? And what was it like the first time they heard it? How did everybody learn it? I just need to know the history of the fan chant. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, so the next one we're gonna do is the dance practice because that left my imagination like, eh? 
Uh, what? I need it to be fixed. So, let's do this. I need you, dance practice. <laughs> I love this lift up here. The lift up home. Yes, see bitch, yes bitch, you see this bitch? This is what I'm talking about that I just missed from that crazy filming. I had no idea how intricate this choreography was. It is literally almost as intricate as dope. Like what the, this is a new level of choreo for them and like I just, how I'm, I'm sad. I'm sad, but I like watching it. It's like those people that just watch The Notebook for fun. You just like to cry like, hey, what are you doing tonight? No, let's just pop in Titanic. Have a happy night. <laughs> you know what I mean? Things like that. But right now I'm smiling through my tears because I can see all these bows. Ah, sorry. <laughs> this is so like sexual for sadness. This is a tear break. Oh, I love that. Down and down. Like just the way they make levels too, which is really gets me. Let's just rewind back really quickly to this line they do right here. You see how in the beginning they're all standing up straight. Now just imagine when the, the, the hit comes, the count comes, they all have to make sure that even though they're of different heights, they have to make sure that each one of them represents a different level. So it makes that, gives that full effect. So that's what I love about it, watch. You see that? Like Sugar, right back here, just duck down a little bit like this, cause he still need to make that low level. JK over here going down like this. You know, Jen and <laughs> Jay Hope didn't have to move too much but then Tay has like a little knee bit like that but you see how it just kind of makes that arc like that and that's something that's very intricate could probably take like you know a few couple minutes to do for like a one second move you know does that make sense I don't know I'm not a dance teacher <laughs> Love with that mother effing, I need you, girl. Like that little, I don't, I don't even know what that is or where that even came from or what that could possibly even mean. I just love it so much. Him, Edge of it, did it. Where it's just like, uh, I, don't, I, I don't know. <laughs> over here jk said it's my turn it's my turn and doing it i've been practicing to be like big brother jimin even though i'm a little bit taller than him i've been practicing to be like him y'all if y'all don't let me acrobat in this song i'm out i'm done and they were like okay jk you got us this is your flip buddy this is your flip <laughs> <laughs> Yes, they did it. They did it. They did the damn thing. All right, I love that. I love how I could actually focus on it, see all the different moves. I talked about a couple things I loved about it, the different levels in it too. But then what stuck out to me is the, the use of the moves they picked, how they just contradict the song so much. But I feel like that is the point of this. Um, Cry fest over here. But all right, that was the dance practice. The last one is we can now focus on the vocals. Let's do a picnic live at MBC. MBC. Let's do it. MBC. MBC. Is this the same outfit from dance practice? <laughs> Slower too. And I 
love Jin just literally standing in the middle of them. All of them are at least sitting or leaning, but Jin's like, mm-mm, bitch. I'm the center of attention. <laughs> Can I get your attention, please? <laughs> Did I just figure something out? I don't know. I will also say, I'm actually really, really, really digging this version. I feel like if this wasn't a dance song, this is what it was supposed to sound like. This is supposed to be the sadness to it, like a little bit slowed down tempo, a little bit more with like a simple instruments and stuff, and just vibing out, bopping your head, living your life. Mm. They smile because they know they sound so good. Like how far away was this performance from when it actually was released? Just curious, because like in the other audience, people were like singing along and stuff. This one, not so much. These people getting introduced to BTS for the first time. We love a little backstory about this picnic. Thank you. And I was like, why is this one so much shorter than the other one? Obviously, they cut all the cry breaks out of it. We don't call them dance breaks around here. There's a cry breaks. And um, put that one little moment with JK being a hey. And I was down with it completely. <laughs> okay, guys, so that was me reacting to I Need You. The dance practice, two different lives, one with choreo, one at a picnic. I want to be 100 with you. I love this choreography so much, so much. But the version of the stripped down version of this, bitch, that's a whole new world for me. I, lo I love it so much. I love the, the sadness that you can feel from it. I know that's not the intention they wanted. They wanted this big, lively production with dance cry breaks, cry breaks, and, um, I just don't know. I, I really, really love this stripped down version so much. I really think though that seeing the dance practice really helped me appreciate the choreo. I think watching just that performance on that first show or whatever would have been just a little not as fulfilling because they do camera zoom so much, pan, and, and it's just not cute. It's just not cute sometimes. I just want to watch. Can I just watch? <laughs> With that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave your, if you did, make sure you leave a like down below, comment. What was your favorite performance of this song? I would love to know. Do you like the dancey ones better? Do you like the stripped down ones better? What do you like? Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you again to all my patrons out there. You guys are amazing. I could not do this without your support. So thank you so much. I love y'all. With that being said, have a great day. Bye. <laughs>